Okay guys, this is how to remove the Rent King um Rent Center, sorry, Rent Center lock off your Galaxy S5. This Galaxy S5 here has the Rent Center lock and I've discovered how to permanently remove it from your phone. Okay, I've checked online. There's not a lot of information. There's one I've noticed about removing the stock firmware and installing Cyanogen mod on there and that will bypass it but I found a way to permanently remove it without having to work with a custom ROM unless you want to here we go guys it's going to be quick okay first you need to go to this website right here Ugh, sorry okay you guys need to go to this website right here and download this zip the zip file is called Sixperience there it is right here Sixperience is for the Galaxy S5 okay after you download that you will need to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your device as well now this is what I've tried before I tried the factory reset it didn't work I tried um, uh, installing Clockwork Mod Recovery then do a factory reset that didn't work. I try install Clockwork Mod Recovery, do a system wipe and a factory reset, then reinstall the stock firmware, which is over here. That didn't work either. This is the procedure that works. Install, first you do a wipe here. We're going to do it right now. You do a wipe, wipe factory data reset. Most of you should know how to get in here. If you don't, you have to do some research. Okay. Then uh, do a wipe cache. Then reboot into bootloader, which is download mode. Okay, guys. Now, while in download mode, you will then install your recovery okay this is my file here for my recovery my clock with my recovery install that into the phone and then boot okay go boot into recovery I've already have the zip on my SD card so we go in here again do a wipe wipe option then in here you will do first a clean rum installation so you wipe the system if your setup doesn't come up like this, you just have to do it manually. You need to wipe the factory data, uh, factory data, do a wipe of the system, and do a wipe of cache and do a cache individually. <clears throat> if yours doesn't have one, a one-click button, but here we go. Now, after you do that, you will do a factory data reset wipe. Now, like I said, this procedure worked for me. So this is exactly what I'm showing you. After that's done, you hit back, then you go to install the zip file. Okay. I'm going to install Sixperience, which is this. Install. I think I'm running out of time. I think my video is limited to five minutes, but if it does end, the next step after the installation, okay, is go let the phone boot up. After the phone boot up, the lock may still be there. Restart the phone. Go into Clockwork My Recovery once more. This time do a factory data reset, not a system wipe, just a factory data reset and reboot. You should be done. 
but if it but anyways here we go um next agreed next okay next um depending on your phone model like i said this covers a lot of different galaxy s5s that you may have this problem with but you're just like your model mine is the t-mobile one <clears throat> which is this one right here but i found out that the f works for me as well so i went with the f model and that's what i use in my procedure so i'm gonna use this one and hit auto um this is the kernels that are available i went with this kernel and uh, sound alive camera i went with the note 5 camera okay next and the installation takes a little while so i'll just pause the video okay guys i'm back shortly but the installation is still in progress it takes approximately five minutes i think but three minutes in this is the time i started at 10 10 and we're at 10 13 and the installation is at 85 percent so um, i said about another minute to go i will pause again and we'll be back okay we are back um the installation process has completed you'll get this message here okay so hit next the phone will reboot and it will begin to load up the first boot up takes a while as well i'm not going to sit through it i will pause it right here and we'll get back to it as soon as it comes up okay the first boot is done okay you hit next okay next next okay next 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 skip skip later finished <clears throat> now there it is and uh, the lock is permanently gone and my phone resembled the Galaxy S6 because this ROM is a ported from Galaxy S6 ported from the Galaxy S6 ROM and here it is my lock is gone with yours if yours come back with the lock right here you will have to do one more factory data reset in most cases that's what I did the first time with my other one you'll go back to recovery hold restart okay then go into recovery Okay, you'll go into recovery, do a wipe. Okay, factory reset. Not clean room, but factory reset. You'll hit that, hit yes. The phone will wipe, then hit reboot. And that is it. I'm not going to do it because mine work and that takes too long for this phone to boot. So that is it. And your lock should be gone permanently. After this, you could go back to stock if you wish, which I did on the previous video but it was too short so i didn't load it but you can go back to stock and you should be good to go this rum is better though